I'm going to talk about budget video editing laptop I bought over a month ago. Hi, my name is BK and on this channel I do small tech tips and tutorials, mainly solving software problems. If you will find this video useful, consider subscribing to my small channel. Now, this review tip, whatever you may call it, will be different from most other similar videos. The fact that I actually bought this laptop and have been using it for over a month makes what I'm going to tell you and show you different. I didn't borrow this machine from a store or a vendor, then used it for the afternoon, did the video on it for which I got paid. No, no, I'm just a regular guy. I used this laptop as my main video editing machine, and since I used it, I produced 5 vlogs for my vlog channel and even two videos for this channel. It has been a breeze. This is my new Acer Predator 300. It is 2019 model. You know this because this logo lights in blue. This is metal. And so is this. I'm going to show you some timelines of my video editing software to see how smoothly it runs, but first I'm going to tell you the specs and the price. Budget as it may be, it was still a lot of money for me. It was not an impulse decision and for months I was doing my homework on what to buy for video editing. I wanted 17.3 inch screen and more space, so my SSD is 500 gigs and I got additional 1 terabyte hard drive. I paid for it this much. It's about 2000 American dollars. Wait. If you live in some normal country where Amazon is a viable solution, you can do much better than this. Shipping cost is terrible for me, so I bought it locally. I will leave some links in the description to several options you can choose from, again, if Amazon shipping cost is not high for you. If you don't need this big of a screen and less storage space, you can do much better. I'm not going to show you all those benchmark tests, you can find them anywhere. I watched them all before buying this, believe me. This laptop is on top of most of them, even with less good graphics I have. Cooling on this is excellent. It has two big metal fans and something called Predator Sense. I keep it in auto mode and it keeps my machine really cool. There is a turbo option with actual physical button, but I didn't need to use it yet. It also makes much noise. And these RGB lights, they look beautiful and you can customize everything. Light, zone and intensity. Now, here is one of my recent vlogs. As you can see, I have multiple tracks, hundreds of videos which I compile in one vlog. This preview is running smoothly in Full HD and the files are not pre-rendered and I don't even use shadow files. I didn't need it yet if you believe me. It is not 4K video though, but it works and most importantly it doesn't crash anymore. I wanted to show you this same vlog on my old PC, HP laptop with i5 processor, but the software crashed several times, so that's a no-go. Since I got my Predator, my vlogs are a bit richer editing wise. This is other video editing software I use, it's called Camtasia and in the past I had more problems with Camtasia then Paro Director I showed you earlier. This is one of my latest videos for this channel and as you can see I also have numerous tracks, but it goes smoothly, it works and it doesn't freeze anymore. Before this laptop it was always a game of chance how long will it take me to edit my videos, with constant freezing and waiting for that Microsoft spinning circle, rendering, producing, it is all very fast, especially in Paro Director. At the end, this is my recommendation, Predator 300, I am sure it will do you good, not only for video editing but for gaming also. Looking for editing laptops, I discovered they are very similar to gaming laptops, so two flies with one stroke. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end, like, subscribe, all that stuff and I will see you in the next one, bye!